to the very first story behind the image video. Um, I've thought long and hard about which image to use first uh, and tell you all about. Um, and I picked one back from back in 2012, um, taken at Woodhill Hall. Um, and it's an image that for me, kind of it was a turning point for me. It, uh, I've been self-employed as a professional photographer for a couple of years by that point. And I had those elements of self-doubt in me. And it was a wedding where everything just sort of fell into place. Uh, I found my style, found my way of doing things. And um, it was the start of something um, where I kind of grew and grew over the, the following few years. Um, and as a result, really developed a really good rep, um, reputation and um, relationship with Woodhill Hall. Um, I formed the, the wedding, I became recommended by them. Um, and it kind of snowballed on from that wedding. Um, it's the wedding of Kelly and Dean and they got married at the back end of June 2012. Um, a couple of things about the day really before I sort of talk about the image itself. Um, well, about two or three days before the wedding, the northeast of England where I was living at the time, um, got hit by a freak thunderstorm. Um, they became popularly known as Thunder Thursday, where we had this three to three hour thunderstorm, just constant lightning, thunder, torrential rain, flooding everywhere. Um, and it had a bit of an impact on the day itself because everything was soggy up there. Um, Kelly had been for a spray tan just before the storm hit. Um, we're stuck in the, the traffic that was uh, that had built up as a result of the floods and she had to abandon the car. Wearing wellies, she jumped out of the car and waded back to uh, her house um, but the water had gone over the top of her wellies and left, um, should we say, white socks on her legs. Um, basically had sort of streaky legs from that point on, ready for the wedding. Luckily her dress covered all that up and for the photo that I actually took, she was wearing wellies at the time so I was kind of covered everything up nicely. Um, we had had a couple of freak little rain showers on the day itself, which kind of led to the, the image that I'm talking about. Was during the wet and breakfast, there was a, a bit of a storm, uh, rain came down, and the problem we've got with Northumberland is um, the little blight that's called midges, uh, I think in the southeast they're called gnats, um, but in Northumberland they're ferocious, uh, especially in Otterburn, and the rain brought swarms of this, these midges out of the, the grass, so they were all over the air. I was covered in them, um, but we had a few hours to kill between uh, the wedding breakfast and the evening reception, and uh, we decided that we were going to have a breather, get away from the crowd, and get a few more photos done. So Kelly whipped the boots on and uh, decided to that she wanted to get some photos taken in the, the meadows out the front of uh, Woodhill Hall. Um, and it looked like something from uh, sort of a, a secret garden. It was kind of all overgrown. There was um, all different wildflowers all over the meadow. It was great. Um, the sheep hadn't quite got in there yet to uh, munch away at all the plants. Um, so the idea was we were going to have a little stroll down to um, some woods that were at the bottom of the field um, and get some photos there. Uh, so I ran up on ahead and turned around and kind of Kelly was picking away through sort of the, the mud and the, the, the various plants and stuff. The, the sky behind her was black, um, but walking towards where we were going, the sun was, was out. So the hall was lit up with this black sky behind it. And all around us were just swarms of midges, which were being lit up by the, uh, by the sun. So as she's picking away through, I just saw this shot and it was, it was like something from a fairy tale. It was, um, a little bit uh, special and she didn't even know I was taking the shot at the time. Kind of just dropped everything, got the camera and uh, kind of took the moment. It was one of those gone in a second kind of shots that you often get as a wedding photographer. Um, I reeled up a few shots, played around with the, um, the exposure um, on the camera and over the sort of course of about 30 seconds just took a range of shots of her picking away through 
the um, the grass that was in the in the field. Um, on the back of the camera, it looked amazing. So I got back home that night, um, quickly downloaded all the images, and went straight to the sort of uh, section of shots that I've taken um, in in the meadow. And there was just this one shot that stood out from the sort of two or three, four, five um, images that I'd taken. Um, and she was just sort of looking down, hitching her dress up slightly, picking her way through. But the thing that really made it stand out was the little flecks of sunlight coming off the midges um, up against the black sky. And it just looked magical. Um, I cheated a little bit, I will admit. I uh, did a little bit of work on, on the image just to make sure that the hole stood out, um, that the sunlight was, was right on it, that the, the midges kind of got picked up a little bit more, so darkened the sky a little bit. But other than that, um, as you see Kelly in the image, is exactly how it was um, when I took the image. Um, it was just basically playing around with a little bit of the lighting in the background um, just to make various elements stand out. Uh, whilst not sort of detracting away from uh, Kelly in the image. Um, and it instantly became one of my favourite images. Um, it was used by Woodhill Hall. I think it's still used by Woodhill Hall on their uh, marketing in magazines. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it really went down as one of those standout images from a career um, that I still use today um, and I'm still proud to show off. So I'll leave you with the image to have a look at. Um, I'm going to be featuring quite a few images over the um, coming few videos. Um, if I've shot your wedding and you've got a favourite image from the day, then let me know and I'll uh, look into featuring it. Uh, and also, if you want to take part in um, the video and sort of talk about the, the image from your side of things, um, then by all means let me know and we can uh, sort something out. But uh, hopefully you found today interesting. Um, and um, yeah, look forward to uh, speaking to you a little bit more in the future.